What's up, freaks? We are getting set up for a Tuesday afternoon, evening, depending on maybe it's morning or night, who knows, whatever part of the freaking world that you're in. It is Tuesday afternoon here. We're starting with this boot camp session. We're gonna get you warmed up, stretched out, but all you need for this entire training session is two different types of bands. A monster band where it's a big loop band like this. I just have a couple of options because if you have several different weight, several different thicknesses, intensities, you can switch it out depending on what exercise we're on or you could just stick with one if you have it, whatever works. You need a monster band. Then you need an exercise band that's either attached to a pole like these over here. An exercise band with a handle. Technically, these would work also on a pole. If you only had a few of these, you'd link them together with your little Girl Scout knot like this and tie it around a pole if you had to and you just wouldn't have a handle but all the same exercise will work the same way it just works better if you have an exercise band on a pole with a handle and then a monster band i have two different options there for two different weights and then two different options for this monster band that is all you freaking need for the day and if you don't even have a band you let you could really follow us along with two dumbbells we're going to be going for long sets and circuits combining stuff together so Hold on, I gotta get a, a paperweight. I said to get a special peak physique paperweight to hold the, the pages down. Anyway, we're gonna get rolling, we're gonna get warmed up. You don't need these bands yet to get warmed up. So let's get started with a warm up. We need the shoulders loose, we need the legs loose. We're gonna be going upper body, lower body, core, working the whole freaking body, get your heart rate up. Get Literally showing you how you can get the best shape of your life with a fucking rubber band. How is that? How, how good is that shit? Let's go. Loosen up your shoulders. We're going to walk forward with big forward shoulder circles. Then walk backwards. What's up, d -Cleasy. Walk backwards and Pamela Hawkins. Walk backwards. As you go backwards, forward shoulder circles when you're walking forward. Bye -bye. Oh, hi, right, Tyson. No, you're my here, best friend. Backwards. Mess you up, boy. Backwards, shoulder circles going backwards. One more time each. Just get loose, getting loose. And then back, coming back. All right, right in place. We're gonna go quad stretch. Quad stretch. Knee hug, knee hug. I think Facebook is a little high. I gotta give you down, lower you down to the crotch cam for Facebook. So we're gonna go quad stretch, quad stretch. Knee hug, knee hug. Our legs are still sore as shit. D. Cleese, you're coming to the Squire. Squire's gonna be awesome. We're doing the Squire program. It's a father-son program that he just said he's showing up to in July, July 17th here in Southern California. It's a father and son program for your sons from 13 to 16, teenage range. And it's an overnight program where we go from 5 p.m training the fathers and sons overnight until 7 a.m. It's gonna be freaking awesome. First time we're doing it overnight, just have a different experience, be able to get outside, out into the mountains and train in the middle of the night. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Stretch those quads and knee hugs, getting legs ready. Our legs are still sore, shift from our 24 hours of weightlifting that we just did this weekend, just finished on Sunday, and we still worked out. We trained Monday, trained Tuesday. I'm gonna tell you all about that later on today, 5 p.m. So an hour and a half after this, or an hour after this past 5 p.m. with Steve says, episode number 95. Gonna be going over all the lessons learned in the suffering from the 24 hour weight lift, weight lifting challenge. I always freaking say weight loss challenge. All right, we're gonna warm up with the bands right off the bat. We just got you loosened up real quick. We're gonna start with one of your bands on your pole, a light band. We're gonna get our, our shoulders warmed up, rotator cuff warmed up, simple stuff. So if you have a monster band on the pole, whatever. We start with our right hand. Don't forget, Facebookers and Instagrammers, this is all backwards. This is my right hand. My elbow's in at my side and my right arm is coming in. I forgot to do this right. I don't know why I did this. Right arm is coming in. We're just going like five or six times. This is going to be a quick, easy set. Flip all the way around. Now my left arm coming in. Bring, see, I'm bringing my stomach in across my stomach. Then I'm going to take my right hand. Not flipping around. Now my right arm is going out. I'm just working deep inside my shoulder, getting loosened up for all the work we're about to do. So it's five or six reps, each one, just getting started. Flip around, left arm going out, rotate it out. I'll bounce nice and slower. Get elbow stuck in at your side, only as far as you can get without twisting your body. And now go right arm 
facing forward, 90 degrees right here, and rotate forward with 90 degrees. And switch arms, left arm going forward, so I'm facing out. Ah, oh, yeah. You got to do this when you, before you do it overhead, you got to say, ah, oh, fuck. Or yeah. Rotate forward, 90 degrees. Flip around, right arm going back, 90 degrees. Left arm going back. Let's get the shoulders done. Shoulders just get loose up. Now let's get a quick shoulder stretch. Stretch it, catch it for a stretch. Fling it open, stretch the other side. Hold it for two or three seconds each side. One to three seconds, whatever. Just keeping it moving. Fling it. We're pretty much gonna be going straight through on this, this workout with these bands, especially here in the beginning as we just get into the flow. All right, you're gonna take one of your monster bands. We're gonna show you the three different positions we're gonna be rotating through the monster band circuits. We have a push-up position, so we're just gonna get in that right now. All you're gonna do is hold the push-up position right now. So you're gonna loop your thumb around this monster band. You're coming behind your back, under your armpits, and loop the other thumb. Because when you're in the push-up position, you want it this way. If you just hold it this normal way, it's gonna flip over your back, and you, you want it under your armpits. Just hook your two thumbs, so when you're on the floor, your palm will end up on top of it. Go in the push-up position. So it's on your upper back, but under, see it's under my armpits, under my elbows, so don't whack me in the head. All we're gonna do is just hold here for 30 seconds. Hands are lined up under your shoulders on this blazing hot floor. And we're just holding it. Hands directly under your shoulders, so your core has to stay tight to just not pull you down. This is our push-up position. There's three positions of this band. We're just starting with this push-up position just to show it to you. And done. Next one's gonna be your squat position. Stepping out with both feet in a squat base, feet apart. Grabbing it with an overhand grip and just tuck your elbows in like you're holding a bar up in your neck. And we're just gonna hold the squat position right here. Just to get used to that position. Keep your back straight, just holding it for a few seconds just to get you warmed up and learn these different holds. Cause we're gonna be rotating between push up position, this squat position and come out to the deadlift position. Just gonna grab it like this, hold the two ends. Step on it with both feet, with your feet just hip width apart, not shoulder width apart. So a little closer. And here's our, our deadlift position right here. So right now all we're going to do is pull this back for a row and just hold it. Just squeeze those muscles, just get used to this position. Just to get used to the movement. We're holding it for just a couple seconds. And ease it out. Just to get you warmed up to learn the position. That's push-up position, squat position, and deadlift position. We're going right back to our... I need that thing. From this here, Scott, I'm Scott, and need those sound effects. So we're going, that's advanced sound effects. You don't know what we have in this channel now when I point. Look, we need that pole over there, the band, and now a thicker band. We're going to go through a full circuit of exercise. Grab the band, start with a chest press. Feet are straight across, squared up, right arm, elbow out 90 degrees, and we're going right arm chest press. Breathe out as you're pushing forward, in through your nose, coming back. Just a moderate amount of tension. We're still just getting started. We might get to this round later. If we have time, we're going to do it with a lot more tension where it's a lot more work. And for many more reps. Done. Flip it over. We're just going 10 each side. Right? Left arm. Chest press. Breathe it out. Push forward. Flip it around. Right arm. Get a little tempo to it. It's only a freaking rubber band. So we're gonna turn this, these strength type movements into a cardio effect by working. Midge, what in the hell are you doing? And switch the left arm, row. Just pulling straight back. Hands your rib. Squeeze to the left side of your back. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Done. Put in your right hand, stand sideways to your pole, to your band. And you're doing a right arm chest fly. So arm is straight, so arm is out at your side, squeezing it in. Going about 10 each side, each exercise. And flip it, left side. Squeeze it, breathe it, squeeze it. And 
face in. Now we're gonna do a right arm pullover. So face in. I'm gonna have angles so maybe you can see me. I'm arm is up about shoulder lift width and just pulling down to the side of my leg without dipping down. Pull over to the last, your triceps. Keep your core tight. So you're not leaning to either direction. Good sides, left arm. And right arm, bicep curl. Arm up in the air, parallel to the floor, hand comes to your ear. Trying to get an angle so you can kind of see what the hell I'm doing. And not just looking at my ass crack like I'm fixing a refrigerator. Yeah. Left arm. Yeah, mate, technique is on point. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah, just a little floppity. Squeeze that bicep. And right arm. Lean over at the waist for tricep. Calm down. Elbow stuck to your side and kick back. Squeeze the tricep. Number 10. Stand up straight in between, so you're not stuck down it too long. And left arm, kick it back. Elbows move to your side, just bend and extend. All right, so we're gonna go to our exercise band. If you have two different levels, I'm gonna go to a slightly thicker one this round, because we're done warming up. Done with this little sissy shit, although I'll probably be grabbing it later, because this shit is hard. All right, so we're gonna go with a push-up walk, a squat walk, and a deadlift walk. So the same three positions, we're now just gonna actually be moving in those positions. So don't forget the three positions, push-up position, squat position, and deadlift position, where you hold it from the sides, right here. So we're gonna hit those three in a row. Each round, there's gonna be just three different exercises, one for each of those positions, and we're gonna loop through it twice. So you kind of know what it is the second time Freaking going around. So let's get in a push-up position. All you're doing is walking side to side, a push-up walk. In the push-up position, right here. Okay. Let's go, begin. Just walk it across. So now you have to deal with that tension on the band trying to push you down while you're walking across the floor. Your hands are lined up directly under your shoulders. Hot floor, this floor is on fire, holy shit. It's gonna make us move fast. Especially the black ones. Holy fuck. Hands work better. Faster. It's like quick. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, hand. Holy shit, it's on fire. Time. Right away. Squat walk. Right away, there's no break in between. Squat position. Hold it down, and we're walking across. So you're stretching out that bottom part, keeping tension on your glutes. Look. Band is never coming close together. You're controlling it to not let it come close together. And then back the other way. Tight, so good. Side to side, because then I'm cutting off of Instagram. I gotta go remember the short camera. Stay low. Thighs parallel to the floor. Two inch steps. Glutes on fire. Head up. Chest out. Abs tight. Ha. Ha. Good. Sucks more than it looks like it would. I know. Deadlift. Position. So stand on hip width. Keep it apart. You're gonna actually take two inch steps here, one inch steps, and your outer hip and glute. So you're not letting it do this and snap your feet together. You're keeping the same tension you started with, holding the arms up tight, like if you were walking on stilts. One inch at a time, keeping the feet apart. After a few steps of this little duck walk waddle bullshit, you're gonna feel some waddle bullshit burning in the side of your ass. I can't move. This is a side ass burner. Do it right. Where it's a, little, a muscle that's gonna support all your stronger movements, your jumps, your running, your squats, your deadlifts. Good. Right back to the first one. Hands on fire, suckers. Push up, walk. Shit was hot as fuck. Let's go. Go. Go fast and you don't feel too much. This ground is hot as hell. Oh yeah. 
Suck it up. Good. Up. Right back. To the squat walk. Down. Squat walk. Keep that tension. Stay low. Ass ah, in the grass. Head up, chest out. Strong quads, strong glutes. Keep it apart. Good. Right to the deadlift walk. Glutes are going to be on fire. That means it's 12 steps every, every square. Stand up, get that tension. Feet apart, hip width. And they stay apart. So you're keeping that tension on the outer hip. So those are hip Ab abductor. Because we want to get all technical. Apart, don't let it fling your feet together. Ah, and this is just getting in. warmed up. This is just getting the muscles warmed up for the real movements. I haven't even started yet, all of these fucking suck. Good, time. Oh my. It's called work. Done. Shake it out, stretch those legs out. That's just getting them freaking started. And we're gonna do all three of those positions again, except this time. He's going to be actually doing push-ups, actually doing squats, and actually doing deadlifts. Actually, no, not even tight yet. Sorry, we're on, the legs are moving this time instead of the arms. So we're on knee tucks, uh, squat to press with the weight, and then just a regular deadlift. Hold it up with this band. We're still on this band for now. We're not going back to those other bands until way later on. So we're still on the monster band. Stretch the legs out, stretch the glutes, hips. You've been training hard, your legs are already sore starting this workout. Mine was sore as shit from our 24 hour freaking whale challenge. Stretch the quads, the glutes, hamstrings, hip flexors, hydrogenate if you need to, and get ready for the next round. So, always just three exercises, go through it twice. Nice, why don't you get us some towel or something? You have to keep them on the floor for knee tucks. I'm not going to be able to do that. Concrete. Oh, like concrete. All right, let's do it. Push up position. You're going knee tucks in the push up position. I'm going to put my hands on the concrete because it's already burning the skin off on these black mats. So let's go. We're in push up position. Oh, the concrete's fine. Knee tucks. So I don't know if Facebookers can see me. I see. Hey. Knee tucks. Here. So back up so Facebook can see. No, no. So you're in the push up position. That weight, that band is trying to push you down. And we're just knee tucking one leg at a time into the chest. Squeeze the core. So that band wants to push you down, but you're not letting it. Hold your ground. Keep your freaking abs tight. Back straight, hips down, hands lined up under your shoulders. Four more. One. Ho! Hey! Ho! And up on your feet. Squat. Position. We're going squat to press. So get in the squat position here. You're gonna squat down, press up as you come up, all the way overhead. Squat to press. Go. Going to 15. Three. Shh. All right. Fix. Shoot it up, breathe it out. Abs strong, extend those arms up. Five more. Nice work. What? This is a. Last two. And deadlift position. Right into deadlifts. Don't forget, this is a band, so we're gonna get a little more tempo than you normally would when you're holding weights or barbells, dumbbells. Let's go, deadlifts. Look at this doing 
no way challenge. Leaning over and drive. Throw your butt back. Because we didn't get enough deadlifts Saturday and Sunday. If you did a bad deadlift, what would be the weight? What? If we did a bad deadlift, like right now. Nothing. I don't count as weight. Can't. Then why is it still work? Can't count as weight. It's still resistance, but we wouldn't count as weight. Two more. Done. Right away, back to those knee tucks. No break. Back to those knee tucks. You got to go straight through. Two rounds. Get out your little bitch napkin here. Can you go forward a little bit? No. Down this camera. Down, back straight, tuck that knee to the chest. Squeeze the freaking abs. Hold your ground. Locked. Three more each side. And up. Squat to press. 15. Squat press. 15. Let's go. Both arms inside. This is not what we're doing right now. Squat down. Shoot up. Let's get a pump to it. Going to 15. 6. 7. Get a little ry rhythm. Still full range. Still control. Now bouncing. Time. Right away to deadlifts. Smooth transition. You already know the positions by now. So there's no break. We want to get that heart rate up. Right to deadlifts. 15. Go. Five more. Drive the hips. Squeeze the abs. Strong grip. Done. Shake it. Stretch it. End of that round. We're going to pick three new exercises. Woo. This one's going to be just a push up, a squat, and a bent over row. We want tempo with these. We're using these bands as a little resistance, but we're going to be going fast on our push ups. We're going to be going fast on the squats and fast on the bent rows. We're going to hit 20 of each. Back to back to back. Stretch out. Get those shoulders ready. The quads ready. Stay loose. Ready to freaking rock. So three exercises in a row. One in the push-up position. One in the squat position. One in the deadlift position. Quick little sip and we're rolling on. All right, let's do it. If your ground is on fire and you're outside like us, get your little bitch napkin. <laughs> like we need it. We're a little, we're a little bitches. Push up position, 20 push ups, speed, then 20 squats, speed, 20 bent over rows, speed, right back 20 push ups. So we're doing six sets in a row, that's 360, 120 reps, non stop. Let's go. Push up position with the band. Going in three, two, one, go. Ten. This shit's a lot harder with this band pushing you down. Ouch. For 20 sets, 20 reps. Let's go right to squat. These are just regular squats. Well, when you come down, is this supposed to be loose? On the push-up, yeah, of course. Let's go, 20 squats, one. So when you're up, you're down. When you're down, you're up. Constant movement without banging on your knees. You know how speed you need to go so you to keep your knees safe. Five more. Right to the deadlift position. We're leaning over. Bent over rows. 20, go. Shh, 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 shh. 
Sen! Twenty. Well, right away. Right away. Right back to push-ups. Twenty suckers. Deal with that resistance. Suck it up. Go. Twenty. Position. All right to it. Twenty. Go. Nine. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your glutes. Put the nose down. Shot the mouth up. Three more. And deadlift position. Finishes off this circuit. Bent row for 20. Go. Easy, easy. 20. Oh yeah. So we're taking strength movements. And a little more resistance with this band. Going a little faster and explosive than usual. Which is jacking your heart rate up there. Take a break, recover, hydrate, and we're ready to roll. We're going right back to this monster band. Even faster pace movements. Even faster pace. Stay loose. Stretch it. Shake it. Get ready. Hydrate if you need to. Keep on rolling. So if you didn't know, I drink my pre-workout, which has a concoction of Herbalife and Trulene supplements. I start drinking about 30 minutes before we start the workout. So by the time we start the workout, it's about halfway done. So I fill it up right before we start, and then I sip it the rest of the way through. It's so that second half of the pre-workout. Pretty much lasts through the workout, mixing that with just regular water. I have another bottle of just regular water next to this one. And it's just a couple sips each chance you get. Post-workout recovery drink is already ready, pre-made, as well as a post-workout meal replacement, which will go about 40, 30 to 45 minutes after that post-workout. I have a post-workout small little drink, and then a meal replacement shake that'll go right after that. And that'll hold me over till it's time to eat some real food. That's just the post-workout, post-workout strategies. Having stuff ready right away. If you need any help with your supplementation, your nutrition, your just meal timing, how to break it down, exactly what you should be eating, the timeline of your foods, the timing of the foods, your, your meals compared to your workouts, when you should have what types of meals, just set up a, a consultation. We could talk about it, we could break it down, look at your day, where you're at. And that's what we go over on a daily basis in our various coaching programs. So you need additional next level help with that stuff. It's much further and beyond the scope of this, this workout we're doing. We're here just to get some sweat and kill some fucking fat. But if you need help with the nutrition and actually breaking it down for you on a personal level, down to the, literally down to your, your macros and all that good stuff, you can send a message and we will hook you up. You talk about it. All right, let's get ready for this next round. It's gonna be a faster paced round. Yes, it's a faster pace round. This round sucks. Makes the last no. one. Makes the last round look like a joke. All right, so push up position, we got mountain climbers. Squat position, we got squat jumps. And deadlift position, we're just gonna go bicep curls, but fast speed pumping bicep curls, just to give the legs a break. Because you're gonna be, your, your heart rate's gonna be through the freaking roof. So the mountain climbers, we're going 40. Squat jumps, we're going 20. Bicep curls, we're going 20. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Wait, where are we going 40? So get your little bitch biscuit or whatever I called it. Napkin. Bitch, bitch napkin. 
Push up position, mountain climbers. 40 total, so that's just 20 each leg. Fast, full speed. Holding yourself up, resisting this damn band. If you don't have a band, just get one of your neighbors to sit on your back or something. Hopefully they didn't eat too many Cheetos. Anyway. Anyway. Why, did that offend someone if I said they don't eat Cheetos? Is that, is that offensive? It's a free show. Complain to management. All right, let's go. Bog them all. Let's go. Mountain climbers. Two, Two four, four, six, eight, ten. ten. fell over like an old man or some shit. Let's go, squat position. 20 squat jumps. He's gonna absolutely suck with the suckery that we love. Go. And keep your feet flat in the air or else that band's gonna whip you in the ass. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Like that. 10 more. Not with me on count, please don't count aloud. Done. <laughs> Bicep curl. Deadlift position. Reach down low a little bit so you have more tension. So you're kind of bunny rabbit in these things, ear, bunny ear in this shit or whatever. Go, 20. <laughs> 10. back to the mountain climbers. Oh yeah. Let's go second round. Two rounds of each. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, thing. Come on, come on, come on. Four. And, and go. Two. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Whoa. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Two. Squat yeah. jumps for 20. Go. Get in that squat, squat position. Jumps, I want to see it. This one did feel good on my knee. Go, 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 go. And Show me. begin. Five. Ten. Oh. We're going to jump a rope. Five more. One. Two. How do you do it? Three. Four. Keep your feet flat in the air. When you, get, when you have to do this. It is a weird jump. <laughs> Alright. Bicep. Biceptionals. 20. Pump it. Go. Full speed. Ha. Ha. Faster than you know what we would do. It's just a rubber band. 20. Peace out. Time. If that round. Didn't raise your heart rate. I'm here to tell you, you are either God or you're bullshit on your pace. Your heart rate should be up if you're pushing the pace that it should have been, especially if you're using this damn band. Your heart rate should be jacked to the roof right now if you were pushing it. That was 40 mountain climbers, 20 squat jumps, 20 speed biceps, right back to 40 mountain climbers to 20 squat jumps. 20 more speed by step. That shit will jack up your heart rate no matter what shape you're in. All right, this next one. We got plank jacks for our push-up position exercise. So that's push-up position, feet jumping apart and together. For our, band, our squat, we got squat to press to jump. So while you're jumping, now you're pressing overhead. And I feel like me, your quads are already fucking shot. And then that's going with deadlift to row. So from the deadlift position, we're gonna do one deadlift row and stand up. So you lean over, one row, and stand up. Just combining the deadlift with the freaking row. 
And listen, on these little breathers in between, if you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, have a question on something we're doing, whatever it is, just what's up, billionaire Banyo? I can't see the rest of it. Or is this, this is, this is just, you get these on Amazon. There's so many sets you get on Amazon. They've been around the whole time. And I have like literally probably, not even joking, 15 or 20 full sets of these. Four different, four different bands, four different resistance levels, and I have at least 15 sets. I keep four sets just in my truck at all times. So we all always have equipment no matter where we are to work out. Then I keep them in the home gym in the garage. I keep a full set in my travel bag for when I'm traveling and on the road, this goes right with me in my travel stuff. So I always have a little mini gym. I have a little small travel bag. It has these, it has exercise bands, a TRX, some sliders. So no matter where I am, there's no excuse for not getting shit done. It's all lightweight, fucking crazy workouts you can come up with, unlimited amounts of exercises and circuits you can do. You get your strength, your cardio, your core, conditioning, everything. All right, stretch those legs. Last sip. And we're going to it. It's going to be another pretty fast paced round. A little sip of the freaking hydrogenation. Get those legs ready. Our legs were already shot. They're still recovering from finishing Sunday afternoon. 24 hours of weight lifting. Yes, you heard it. We did 24 hours of weight lifting. So stay tuned. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Steve says episode number 95 coming up. It's all about suffering and why would anyone want to suffer? Why did anyone want to do a 24 hour challenge like we just did? And I'm gonna go a deep dive into all the lessons and reflections and creations that come out of that shit. It's a whole different level of creativity, of reflection, and just find out who the fuck you are. Much like the project. If you're a man looking for the project, it's here in Southern California, four day event for men. In Southern California, June is sold out. August is damn near sold out. So if you want in on the project to come down here for four days, put a message down in the comments or send me a private message and we'll talk about that. All right, we gotta get rolling. Yeah. Push up position. You see, I babble when I need, my, my legs need a break. So it looks like, you know, I'm just pretending I'm telling you all this stuff, but it's really just letting me recover. Cause I'm sucking fucking window. Huh? No sucking wind. Uh -huh. yeah. You out of breath? One time we were in a workout in the dungeon and suffering at your, my, your, your grandmother's house. I had What's a gym the in their basement. Their basement, I turned to a little gym when I first came out of the Marines. She came over to work out and I had like five people down there for a group workout in that little shithole. There were nails sticking out of the wall. And she says, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm sucking window. Everyone looked at the window and wondered what the fuck is she talking about? Because there was a window there. They're like, you mean you want to open the window? She's like, no, I'm sucking window. So you think you mean you're sucking wind? Wait, did that oh, actually yes. happen? Yes, true story. I'm not making you can't make that shit up. I'm not even funny enough to make up something like that. I'm not that creative. You can't who ever make that oh up? My God, yes, that really happened in front of a group of people, yes. Wait, and they wait. all snapped like this at the window. What they thought there was that? something wrong with the window. <laughs> that was that. All right, let's go. Plank. Everybody laughing. Look, they can't even work out. Flight jacks. <laughs> go. Twenty. Two. Two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six, Double. Seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Abs strong, back nine, straight. Eight, Hands under your eight, shoulders. Keep counting so I can talk. Sixteen. Bounce seven, your step. Balls your feet. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. This is gonna be a squat to prep. Who will sit? Next one of you. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. All right. No, no, squat no, no. to jump to press. Fifteen of these. And overhead. Even more of a chance for you to whip yourself in the ass if you like that shit. Go. Whoa. Perching. Perching. Fifteen. All right, we're going deadlift to row. Fifteen. Because it's a four count exercise. So look, check it out right here. One, two, three, four. That's one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Hello? One, one two, three. Four, four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, 
Freaks. Oh, we got no, we're missing one. Deadlift. Deadlift, bro. Right to it. I saved you from smacking. Trying to see what that messages were up there. I think it was someone just flipping me the bird with an emoji. Go. Go. Hun! Ho! Hey! Hun! One! Two! Faster! Three! On my count! One! Ho! Hey! Four! Hun! Ho! Hey! Five! Hun! Ho! Hey! Six! Hun! Ho! Hey! Seven! Hun! Ho! Hey! Eight! Hun ho hey! Nine! Hun ho hey! Ten! Hun ho hey! Eleven! Hun ho hey! Twelve! Hun ho hey! Thirteen! Hun ho hey! Fourteen! Hun ho hey! Fifteen! And that's around. Shit. You're doing air. Do you know that counting out loud? I'm making them stupid noises while I'm counting. That shit gets me more out of breath than doing the damn exercise by itself. Did someone actually flip you the bird? No, I thought someone did. I get flipped. I get flipped the bird in emojis literally on a daily basis. Why? Stop stepping on my notebook here. I get flipped the bird through emojis on a daily basis. Why are you throwing it over there? Why are you throwing it over there? They're both going inside to the. All right, we are going back to your exercise band. It's gonna be a punching and reverse punch round. So you're gonna start with the band behind you, pivoting, punching, full speed, 15 with the right arm, 15 with the left arm, sit your stance. Then you're gonna flip around and do a reverse punch. It's like a row with a 90 degree twist. 15 right, 15 left. Then you're gonna go 20 right punch, 20 left punch, 20 right, reverse punch, 20 left, reverse punch. So just two rounds, each side, two sets of each, 15 reps first round, 20 reps second round. You don't see resolving anything, it's just gonna be the rest of the night. As long as you two go inside and resolve it, I don't see resolving anything. Right-handed punch. Right leg is back, left leg is forward. You're gonna pivot this right foot when you snap it forward and turn the wrist. 15, go with some speed. Hey, four, whip the hip. Five, Breathe it out. Six, seven, Get the left hand up. Eight, nine, turn the wrist over. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Left arm, left leg back, left leg back, right leg forward, band is your left hand, go. One, Hit it. Three. Turn that left foot. Four, five. Get that right hand up. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Start that set over. We're gonna start that set over. Right hand. We count one to twenty. All right, let's go. One, two, two three, four. Give five, it the right foot. Six. Speed. Throw it out there. Seven, eight. That's her. Boom. Ten, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Pump it. Five more. Give it the right foot. Last two. Switch left arm. 20 punches with the left hand. Go. Ten. Ten more. I'll count and I'll talk. No problem. So, 13. Twist the wrist. Pivot the foot so no one can count. 17. Useless. 18. 19. 20. Right hand. Reverse punch. And begin with speed. Go. One, two. Pivot that left foot. Three. You're turning Five. 90 degrees Six. to your right. Seven. Eight. Twisting Nine. the wrist. Ten. Squeezing the back. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Pump it. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Left arm. Pump it. Go. One. Pivot. Two. Pivoting the right foot now. While you pull back the left arm. And twist to the left. It's like you're pulling a punch back. Your whole body's be turning 90 degrees. Your face, your chest, and everything. If it's not, you're probably going too fast, and no one's going to be able to keep up with your count. Your whole torso needs to turn along with your face. All right, 10, 11, 12. Turn your whole body 90 degrees. Talking to the counter. He's doing quarter reps. He's like, all right. Time! Does anyone have a problem with the instructions of this course? Playing the man. <laughs> Shake it out. Shake it. Stretch it. We're going to be back to our exercise band coming up. This one's going to be a little bit different of circuit. We're going to, we already finished off with the push up, all the push up position exercise, all the squat position exercise, and the Deadlift position exercises. These are all these exercises are going to be in a split squat position. Four different exercises are going to be split squats and some triceps. two different versions of the split squat we're going to do split squat split squat position we're going to do with this band the first one is going to be under your front leg so check it out just stepping on it with my right foot i'm going to step back with my left foot and i'm going to get this into the front squat hold so my right leg is so from a side view look the band is under my right foot 
And let's go. We're just going to hit a split squat from this position. Yeah, just sit up there and hang out. That's good. And we'll drop it straight down right here. It's going to 10. Back knee comes near the floor. It might graze the floor, but it shouldn't smash the floor. And switch legs. You need to hold up higher then. Let's go. Left leg forward, right leg back. Ten. Control down. Sit on the hip and the heel of the front leg. Sitting back on the glute. All right. Now split squat position. You're going to step on with your right foot. But you're going to step all the way through with your left foot. So now your back foot has that on it. You're going to reach both of these hands all the way up and overhead. And we're going to go back for triceps right here. Pump it. 20. Nine. Ten. All right. Now just step back with the left leg. So your right foot is on the band still. And right back to that split squat right leg. Except now we're doing a jump for 10 reps. Go. So feet stay in place. Look, a little hop. Five more. Left leg forward. Split squat position. The left leg is on the band. Right leg is back. 10 split squat jumps here. Left leg forward. Left foot on it, step in with your right, and now try step with the other leg, holding it. Really doesn't make a difference with the leg. 20, go. Ten more. Time. All right, we're gonna finish on our backs with a set of flutter kicks. 100! Still with our band. What? So while we're kicking, you're going to hold pretty close, hold it however you need to, double it up if it's not thick enough. You're going to do a reverse fly while you're flutter kicking. Play with the band, then you can break it up, Ooh, set it up however you need to. Like the other part might be flopping yeah. around, whipping you yeah, in the face or the breasticles, weight, okay? but just deal with it. 100 bet flutter kicks, it says 100 squat bet flutter kicks. Get on your back, so it's a reverse fly with your flutter kicks. Figure out now how you need to hold it to get your arms all the way across. I think that's going to work for me. 100 to finish off. Three, two, one, go. We're counting the flutter kicks. Two, count four, six, eight. Just the hands ten, how you need to. Twelve. Sorry. 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 32, 32 4, 6, 8, 42. 42. Abs tight. Four, Keep pumping six, that reverse fly. Eight, Tension on the upper 52, body. 52, 4, Full speed. 6, 8, Pump that band. Six, Find a rhythm. 2, two 4, Find a rhythm. Six, Press that lower back to the floor. Seventy-two. Four. Six. Eight. Eighty-two. Four. Six. Eight. Ninety-two. Four. Six. Eight. One hundred. Zero. That was hard. Oh, he got punched in the butt. Oh, yeah. All right. Check it out, freaks. So, it is June coming up. Let me tell you what's coming up in June. My birthday. There is a whole shitload of stuff coming up in June. We have, and this is exactly why I moved out of California for the craziness that's going on in the different businesses, the 
several different businesses that we're running or involved with. So in June, we have the project coming up. That's a personal development program here for men in Southern California. Right after that, a week later, we have Operation Black Site, which is for anyone, it's for men, women, business owners, entrepreneurs, anyone looking to level up in specific areas, mainly just becoming a badass. There's gonna be MMA coaching and instruction that I'll be helping out with, with Michael Chandler, who just fought for the UFC championship two weeks ago. There'll be weapon strategies and tactics with project instructors, Ray and Matt. Aaron will be helping out with the grappling as well. And Tim Kennedy will be doing the tactics, the weapons, tactics, and strategies, room clearing, personal defense, defense of your home, strategies and tactics with that. It's going to be a crazy three-day event. And it's basically, if, with Dan Fleischman, who's really running it with Bedros, it's about leaving there feeling like you are Jason Bourne from the Bourne Identity. Those are the types of skills that you're going to learn during Operation Black Site. And that's the, the 20... 20th through the 22nd. The week after that, we have the LTD, Leadership and Team Development. We're flying down to Mobile, Alabama for a, a two-day event, a three-day event, and that's going into big corporations teams. Myself and the Navy SEAL Ray Care, we go and we teach and coach businesses, corporations, and their leadership teams and their management teams all the way down to the foot soldiers on leadership, teamwork, communication, problem solving. We take Stra tactics and strategies from, from the military and the battlefield, from the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship world and the business field right into their corporation and their company. So they can take those military and entrepreneur strategies and tactics and put it into their corporate culture so they can be better leaders, work better as a team, treat the business as if it's their own. So tons of stuff coming up in June, so many different things going on. And on top of that, we also do private coaching for fitness, for business, for mindset, if you need help with that. So any of these things, so much going on in this month coming up. Crazy month, crazy activities. It's gonna be a shitload of fun. Just send me a private message. We'll see which of the different programs. I know it might sound confusing. There's so many things going on, but that's just the way it is. So send me a private message. We'll hop on the phone. I could break down any one of those for you that you might need help with. That might be a good fit for you. And we will talk about it. It's all coming up this month. The project is every two months. The project is in June. August, November, and we're already starting to sell for February of 2022. That's how much it's backed up and there's a waiting list for the project. So send me a message if you want information on any of those. In addition to the supplements, the Herbalife, the Trulene, so much shit going on. It's fucking crazy and exciting times. And this just goes to show you that with the world shut down, all this other bullshit, drama, and all this nonsense, you can't let that shit hold you back. You cannot let shit hold you back because we are just booming and all the businesses are thriving more than fucking ever. That's what it's all about. All right. So if you need help with any of that, send me a message, but I got to get rolling. So we got Steve says episode number 95 coming up in the freak show recording studio coming up at 5 PM Pacific. That's in about 40 minutes from now. So I will see you over there or right here and here on Facebook and Instagram. I got a great setup for that. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. I'm sure the freak shows have something they want to tell you. No excuses! Very, very, very normal children. I can't imagine where you get it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. <laughs>